What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and today we're taking a look at a little game called Fight Night. I actually got access to the Kickstarter demo. Uh, this is a game that's kind of taking cues. It's a weird title because it's crossing genres that don't normally get crossed. So it's kind of a hack and slash Diablo style beat em up. But at the same time, it's also, if you've ever played Warriors of the Red Sun D&D or if you've ever played Eye of the Beholder or any of the old Ultima games when you go down into dungeons like a Calabeth and whatnot, uh, it's a grid-based dungeon-exploring beat-em-up, and I know that sounds odd. We're not going to talk to you because you don't help us out right now, and I already know how to play the game. I don't need a tutorial. We're going to jump off the boat, and welcome to the village. We are here to fight our way through a tower. As with all noble pursuits, we've got to punch the enemy until they no longer invade innocent people's lands. Oi, fight night. I'll be pulling out of this old tub round nearby. Why don't you scope out the tower in the meantime? I decided to get him a little gravelly there near the end. I felt like he'd be better if he was gravelly. Hello, is anybody home? I'll punch your door down. Nope, nobody's home. The moon is shining. It looks like we're ready for adventure. Using the W, A, S, and D keys, I can walk around and also rotate my camera. I can press Q and E to strafe should I want to. I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me at all. I'm going to jump off that ledge right there. I don't think I can fall into the water. What's up here? Let's go see what's on top of this thing. There's got to be something dope up here. Although I'm thinking most of the place is either unpopulated because I haven't done a dungeon run yet. And you unlock people that will sell you stuff as you go along. Yeah, it looks like. Can I jump off this? Yeah, boy. Jump off tall stuff and we don't take damage because we're a boss. Who's this dude? It looks a little slimy and uninteresting. I'm going to walk past it. Ah, now is the time of your undoing, fiendish beast. Wait, you're no enemy. What are you doing here? The accursed tower has descended upon us. Where are your arms? Not those arms, you fool. Where's your sword? Ugh, oh, enough of this. More monstrous foes could exit at any moment. Were I not so quick to hide, I mean, defend myself. I might be among those captured. Did you arrive by water? We must leave at once. As the only remaining of the town watch, I must warn you that to be as far away from here as possible. Blast of the terrifying abomination! Move aside! Fight night versus... That's what it needs. Ha! You'll be no match for my- Oh, I've been cloven! Or wounded, quickly take my blade! I will take your blade, but I will scoff at it and I will say, This is unnecessary, for I will rally with the power of Doomguy's default attack! Me sword! Do my eyes deceive me! Oh lord, you're just as cursed as the tower! Dude, I'm gonna punch the hell out of this skeleton. So we press spacebar in combat to punch. The longer we punch, the faster our combo gets. And then the enemy falls down and is quite dead. Let's continue forward. Uh, he's curled up in a ball on the ground. I don't think he's useful to me anymore. We can sleep in our bed to save. Where's my bed at? Is my bed around here anywhere? Is my bed inside of this place? Pray tell, am I not in the stables? Where dust I live at? So this looks like a library of some kind. And Fight Night cares not for readings. Fight Night cares only for pugilism. Into the dungeon! And so welcome to our first dungeon, where we will apparently fight a bone defender. Whose bone he's defending, I'm not really sure, but he needs to get knocked out. Yeah! Dude, he caught that straight left and that straight right and fell down real quick. We went up on him like punch out. He was like glass joint. He's like boop 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 choo 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 When we got that was the noise that made him punch out when you knocked a dude out. Alright, I'm gonna follow down this way. Ooh, we got sticks and bones. I don't think he's gonna break my bones, but I might break his. When the enemy attacks us, they turn red like that, and if we press shift. It counts as a parry, which will knock them back and make them more susceptible to being knocked out. Did I say susceptible? Susceptible to being knocked out. I don't like it when people add, like, extra words into the things where they don't exist. So the shift key gives us a map so we can navigate a little bit better. What's over this way? It looks like we've got a switch. Okay, not the Nintendo variety, but it looks like it gets rid of some of the goo that was impeding our path to the north. And then back this way, what have we found for ourselves? What's over here? A red door and also the lone lizard. Well, he's about to be the dead lizard, so let's punch him until he no longer sees sights or smells smells. There we go. When I get done with this dude, he's going to be shitting out his mouth. Let's take a look over on that left side. Nothing there. What's inside of this? I'm going to assume I go this way. We are down on a new layer. All right, so that takes us back up on that side. It looks like it's just a pass-through, maybe. Yeah, I can't go that way yet, so we got to find the appropriate switch in order to go that way. On this side, it looks like we've got ourselves another punch switch. There we go. That looks like it's going to get rid of some of the lavas that we were looking at. We've got the Xylobone Trio. I might have to break out some specials on this one. So we've got two attack. Ow, I've been struck. We've got two attacks. 100-inch punch, which I just triggered. There it is. 100-inch punch going to put this dude away. 
Yep, put them away like a clean pair of socks. Uh, lay them out. Yep, you're going to be spitting chiclets by the time you're done with me, bone man. Come on, let's... Man, your friends seem a lot more vicious than you do. I'm going to keep fighting. Let's do this thing. Oh, and they go down. But we did take some damage on that one. Little bit of attrition that we're going to have to deal with as we go forward. So that gave us access to a stairwell. What else do we have going on here? So that connects to that side. And what's down this way? Ooh, a scroll. What is that? You found... Uh, it's got words on it, so it's got to be a librarian scroll. Hooray, I grip it with my mighty punching fist, which normally I only open for treasure. And so that fits well. Ding, ding. Oh, both these guys are trying to come at me now. Let's do this thing. Oh, they got that combo. Yeah, they got that syncopated strike going. That's okay, because I am a master. A master of arms. Literally a master of arms. We'll throw this one out there. You can have that, developers. That can be a pun that you can just throw out there. Give it to your audience. Be happy with it. And down goes another couple skeletons. Uh, down this way. What's out this way? It looks like we got another pathway down here. What is this? See where this loops around to. I'm going to guess more goo and greats. See, that's going to be like wizards and warriors. Dungeons and Dragons, Goo and Greats. That's going to be the tabletop game that I develop. Ah, I know you. You're the eponymous fight knight. Word has come that you are in search of the tower. Kee-hee-hee. <laughs> Yours is the friendliest face that I've met yet in this towering merc. The most polite, too. The most polite person punches you to initiate conversation? That does not speak well for the manners of this establishment. As, as though I've been wandering for days, still without a sign. Troubling indeed. I fear I must retire to my apothecary without. Might you be the helpful sort? If you do come across any of mine, uh, please visit my shop when you return. And to ensure that you do... Ooh, a hearty potion. When drunk, this fizzy liquid heals up to 15 HP over time. Healing ends when you take damage. Use consumables at any time on the pause screen. Well, I've got like 12 health missing, so this seems like maybe a good time to use that. So I'm gonna... There we go. And so now I should slowly regenerate as I go through the map. Yeah, looks good to me. We're at full health and our heart is a pumping true again. Pumping so true. Uh, is there anything else around here that I have not explored yet? So there's something down that way. There's a connector over here. Okay, so I think we're done with this map right now. I don't think there's anything else to worry about. The Bone Brothers seek to stop us. Well, your fraternity of obstruction is about to end, dear individuals. You still take damage if you don't block perfectly, though. You gotta block perfectly in order to avoid taking damage. There we go. I'm gonna try and keep it working on this guy, because I don't want to take any more damage. He's an armored skelly. Got him! And down he goes. Dude, my righteous fury cannot be contained into this aspect of the dungeon. It looks like we found ourselves a new place. Floor zero, a flooded basement. Okay, where does that go? That takes us to a new individual. Looks like some kind of mantis lady. Hi, mantis lady. Are you okay? Eat the minotaur! Wait, you aren't that bull. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm goodness. What am I doing here again? Oh yeah, I remember now. I'm to record creatures inside the tower like yourself, but I got lost fling a group of terrible beasts. Drop my notes in the fracas. Have you seen them? I simply cannot leave without my notes. Sis wouldn't have that. Okay, well I will help you out. This righteous Donnybrook will continue in pursuit of your knowledge. Let's have a look inside it. Oh, it's the Lizos. Are they hard? I don't know if they're scary or not. Oh, what have you done? You shot me with magic? Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. I can't be shot with magic. I cannot be contained! Ha! Ooh, I think I knocked them all out. Did I knock them? I'm going to get this lizard right here. Yep, there it is. Block that bolt right there and knock them on out. And it looks like I've reduced them to what looks like giblets. Is What is this over here? You found? It's got to be a librarian scroll. Hooray, I like librarian scrolls. What are these right here? Do these runes do anything? I don't think that they do. The graphical style in this game is actually super unique, and I think it's going to help them sell the game quite well, in fact. They've done a good job mixing, like, retro in with, like, Doom, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time before term somebody turns this into, like, a Doom wad. I guarantee you. Somebody's going to be like, yeah, it's Fight Night, but in Doom. Uh, what's this way? It looks like we are surrounded by nastiness at the moment, although from the amount of violence and punching that's been trying to... Oh, this took us back to the original place. Okay. I can deal with that. Let's go back then. I don't want to get into extra any extra fights right now. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like you want to minimize the amount of time you spend in combat. Uh, were you the one that needed the notes? Have you found the notes? In the heat of the moment, I dropped three pages. Okay. So I'm about to look around for those, I think. And we've got more Lizos. I don't know if I block those the same way that I normally block those. Oh, I can knock them back at them. Okay. I just got to time it properly. Knock a couple of you out. There we go. 
perfect. And we worked our way through there and we finished out, or we figured out the mechanics to that fight. It's actually, I gotta take those balls that they're throwing at me and say, No! Return to sender. I do not accept any extra balls right now. Balls were not a part of this order. Did I go this way? I don't know. Oh, it looks like some of the goo is gone. Okay. I don't know if this is where I want to be, though. As per usual with games like this, I'm already horrifically lost. So, we've got her right there. Ah, is there a place over here that I missed? There might be. We'll fight a few more Lizos. And then we'll see if we can reflect a few more of their balls back at them because they are being quite brazen and cavalier with their balls right now. When I'm in a dungeon, the last thing I do is throw my balls at people. That's just uncouth. And where did this take me? To a new central area with a switch. Okay, we'll hit that and that'll open that. And does that do anything for me right now? It might give me access to this over here, although I'm thinking that's a no. But we are on a new path right now, and I am a fan of new paths and new ventures, so maybe we'll just kind of have a look around this area. We've got the Waterhole 4. Okay. Ow, I got hit by one, but I blocked the other. Got my focus all messed up right now. There we go, get him parried and knocked back. Come on. Ah, I'm taking too much damage. I'm taking like some mad crazy damage right now. I'm gonna need a healing item before too long. Hopefully we can find one hidden down in here because this game is being very, very rude and unkind to me. It's making me hurt in a way that I don't really like to hurt. I guess I'll check around this way. Do I leave the, can I leave the tower? It said I can sleep in a bed or something like that. Maybe I can leave the tower and get healed and continue my advancements later once I've got a tiny bit more health. I was hoping there'd be some kind of like lootable or item that would drop off of some of these guys. It would make my quest a little bit easier. I'm gonna fight this dude. Oh, I blocked it right there. You see how he tried to come up on me and I was like, nope. Hit him with that right straight real fast. That straight right to keep him from putting the blades on me. So that's gonna connect back around to here. Good sweet lord, I'm lost. All right, well let's let's leave the dungeon and see if maybe we can get healed for right now without it like messing with anything. So we'll go outside, and it looks like we got an apothecary shop over here, which is opened. So you made it out in one piece after all. Well, you won't regret visiting our apothecary before heading back in. So acquire elixir. We can go with a super smelly artifact. If it reaches zero, the powerful aroma brings you back, or we can drink fizzy liquid. There you go, try not to gulp it down all at once. And then can I take both? Oh, I can take both, okay, cool. And then can I show you an item? Sorry, you have nothing of mine. Okay, cool. Uh, can I sleep in a bed around here? What's inside of this place on this side? Did anybody fill in right here? I don't think that anybody did, but I gotta find my bed and get myself healed. Oh, I think my bed is back in the ship. Okay, the ship actually docked over on this side. Looks good to me. Let's get ourselves all nice and bedded down. Ah, beautiful, glorious sleep. Sleep perhaps to dream, and that's gonna save our progress as well. Okay, so it looks like we actually... It's a persistent game then. I thought it was going to be like a roguelike where we go in and we go as far as we can until we die. And then at that point, you know, we try again with like boosts and potions and stuff like that. A singular bone defender over here. I don't think it's going to be too hard to lay him on out. And so there it is. He's been laid to rest once again. So there was a flicky thing over here. I think the only place I haven't tried to go is right here. And it looks like we've still got goo that way. So I don't know. Feeling a little bit lost right now, but then again, that was always kind of how these games worked. You always felt lost. So that brought me back to where I wanted to be, sort of. Now we've got Brittle and Little. Oh, this is going to suck. Yeah, buddy. Knocked them all out. Now i got to focus on getting these dudes tanked. Yeah, perfect. Get these dudes tanked. Oh, I killed them all. Nice, that actually went much more successfully than I expected. I'd like there to be some kind of XP or something you get for fighting along the way so that you can get some upgrades or something. But seeing as it's a Kickstarter demo, maybe that's the sort of thing that just hasn't been implemented yet. Uh, now that the goo is gone from another path, maybe we'll try this one. And that just brought us in back and around here. I love the color scheme. The color scheme is so bright and like garish, but at the same time so dark. And so I guess it's got like the scan lines or whatever. From So what happens if I go... That's the way that I came from, I think think. So I'm definitely missing something here. Ow, dude. I'm getting worked on right now. 
I need this armor skilly to go. There it is. Are they both dead? Okay, their reflected projectiles got them killed. Yeah, I think this takes me back up to here. And that's going to kill off the goo on that side. Did I ever punch this thing? I did not. What is this over here, and where does it take me? Oh, it took me to that other pass-through. Okay, and that's still blocked right here? That's still blocked. Well, let me try and get back on track here, because I don't even know what I'm looking for. Ah, I found advancement. It looks like there's an area over here that we haven't been to yet. And so if you wanted to know where I went, we'll go back through the... Oh, never mind. There's Grave Robber. Oh, new enemy. I don't know what he does. I don't know if I just got to get away from him. Yeah, I think I just got to get away from him. He drops a bomb, and we're not allowed to like be in the vicinity of it. He got blown up pretty good by his own explosive, too. That would be one of my number one rules, is if I got an explosive, don't blow yourself up. So it looks like in this area of the first floor, there was a spot that I missed. I walked right past it. And so my assumption is that maybe we'll find a switch in here that'll allow us to go a little bit further. I love the deductive reasoning that's involved in old dungeon crawlers like this. I really do sincerely enjoy it. I think that uh, we've got grave robbers over here. These guys weren't too bad. I got them. Back on up. There it is. And so he'll take damage from his own explosive. We'll finish off the skelly. And when he tries to run up on me, ooh, you take that, you and your pointy ass hat. Look like Will Will or Wee Willie Winky, but I almost said Will Wheaton. Wee Willie Will Wheaton? I don't know. It's starting to get tongue twistery, though. Uh, Wee Willie Winky. Off to go to bed. And I only know who Wee Willie Winky is because when I was like two years old, I was in a play of Wee Willie Winky. Actually, it looks like we got nothing but dead ends over here. Oh, we got two of them. Goody. My favorite. I'm going to back up off of him. And we'll put a little bit of loving on this dude. Oh, he summoned a, he summoned a skeleton. Well, that's less than satisfactory. Maybe I'll focus on him then for a minute. I do like the variation of mechanic we're starting to see. How, like, as they add new enemies in, it adds there's things you have to evade. There's things you have to block. There's enemies that start throwing you for a little bit of loops by making fights harder than they need to be by summoning more enemies. I like that. I like how there's already starting to be, like, variation in the way that the game comes at you, bro. Uh, we didn't go this way, I don't think, did we? We did not, and it looks like we have a stairwell that goes up right here. Ooh, the sound is gone. What's about to happen in here? There we go. Knock those on back at him. That reminds me of, like, DBZ. When somebody, like, charges up, like, a mega attack, you know what I mean? And then once their attack charges up, they spend, like, five episodes doing that, and they throw it at the bad guy, and the bad guy's like, SWAT! And he just, like, transforms and swats it to the side by changing forms. That's what it makes me feel like. So that takes us somewhere else. I'm going to focus on exploring the areas that I already have first before I go any further because I'm sure there's a switch or something around here that needs to be taken care of let's check every nook and cranny while we're here because I'm sure there's something interesting hidden in the back of one of them oh we're inside like a little waffle area right now it's kind of an elongate waffle but I do like waffles so that's good that's going to close that down right there and we've got the volleyball champs ain't volleyball champs and nothing yet I'm going to keep on whooping on him. It doesn't look like... Oh, I can knock the bomb back, too, if I target it. That's good. So I'm assuming that tactic's probably going to be helpful at some point. We can actually punt that back towards him so that he takes the damage a little quicker. It's either that or I can duck out of the way and just hope I don't get hit. So we hit the switch. That's going to open this up back down to here. So where did the other ladder go? That's what I want to know is what was on this other little layered area right here. Hello? Oh, it took me to another new area, too. More volleyball champs. All right. Doing my best here. I'm going to put some hands, put some paws on these kids. Make sure he don't drop a bomb or nothing right now. Ah, I got hit by a laser blast. Weak. But the bomb did get the rest of them, and so he's almost finished off. Nice. I really enjoy the art design of this game. I think they did a good job with it, making it look truly, like, distincted. Uh, we're a little hurt right now. I'm thinking it's time for us to drop a fizzy liquid potion... And maybe feel a tad better. And hopefully we've got time to utilize it. Oh, hey, who are you? You found little potion, kiddo. Bring the rascal back to the potion seller in town for a hearty reward. Okay. I like rewards. And does that take me back to Mantis Lady? That takes me back to Mantis Lady. All right. 
I'm okay with that. Uh, we've opened up another pass through anyways, another loot back that we can utilize in order to keep our game going. I don't know if I should like evac now and see if maybe I can, I don't know. I never, I always leave too late in games like this, the twin femurs and the kin schemers. Ow, dude. Ah, dude, there's so much stuff to block. I think I can also just like duck out of the way if I really want to. There we go, we'll knock that back at him. We'll try to stay trucking for right, ah, he came up on me, never mind. He raised up. I'm gonna back up, maybe that bomb will get him. There we go, a little bit of bomb damage right there, teach him a lesson. And I think that killed a couple of them. The, uh, the variation also comes from when they mix different types of enemies together. It really does like change up your tactics and the way you have to play the game. Like sometimes it's better to evade, sometimes it's better to stick and jab and just try to fight your way through. So there's another one. That's going to open up, I think, the central corridor, which is what we were mostly working towards right now. Mostly. But did it give me a way back? Oh, it did. It actually gave me a way back in here. Okay. So how many more things do I have to get rid of? Because these are just easy mode enemies right here. I ain't that worried about them. We should be able to just go to town on these kids. Well, except for that one damage I just took. But if it did bring us back to the central area, there's a strong argument to be made that maybe we should go back to the village and just get our health restored and refill our consumables. But part of me is curious. I just want to see what's down. Oh, there's a... Oh, who are you? That's not good. We've got the Skeletor. Ow, fool. Ow, this dude's going ham on us. I don't even know if he connected right there. I'm not entirely sure. So he's going to back up. Oh, I was going to try and do that. I was trying to do the bald bull thing where you punch him like right as he comes up on you. You know what I mean? That's what I was trying to do is I figured it was like a bald bull mechanic where you got to punch him at just the right moment. It knocks him out instantly or at least does a ton of damage or something. I'm going to go back and I'm going to sleep because that was the last of my consumables right there on that elixir. But we got to figure out what his strategy is. And also I've got a thing to take back over to here. Greatest apothecary this side of the tower. I'm going to show you this thing. Oh, you found one of my kin. As promised, here's your reward. An oh, an extra consumable item slot. Hell yeah. All right, so let's acquire some elixirs here. We'll get three of those, and that looks good to me. Sounds like we got everything we need. I'm going to go back to the boat and get all healed up, and then we'll give that Minotaur one last look before we call it off for the day because I am enjoying myself right now. I do think it needs a few more, like, I like what they've got going on. I like the unlocks and whatnot. For a Kickstarter demo, I haven't taken a look at what they're planning on adding to the game just yet, but just the things that it feels like to me. I'd like some kind of XP system so that you get a little bit stronger and maybe you get some kind of benefit from fighting over and over again because you do fight a lot right now with no foreseeable benefit, but it does look like it's dropping skulls and other things. Maybe we're going to use those for a crafting system or something later on? Seems possible. Like, I noticed, like, goblin ears and, like, skulls were dropping and stuff like that. Maybe that's an unimplemented thing that doesn't exist yet. Sounds completely possible. Oh, he goes down when you block him. Okay, I see it now. I'm gonna try and get my blocks worked up for the moment. I try to keep myself not worked up here on the internet, but... Uh, I took a little bit of damage right there, which is not the most fun. But I think I can handle him. I think I can handle him. I don't think this dude wants none. This dude thinks he wants some, but I don't think he actually do. I think, yeah, he's down on his knees real quick for somebody who was talking that good shit a minute ago. What you want to do? Dodge to the side. Oh, oh, you don't know me like that, Minotaur. You don't know me like that. We'll put the Nux on you. Ow, my face. I'll put the Nux on you, though. You're lucky you got all that HP. Otherwise, this would be a very different fight, my friend. This would be a very different fight. Yup. Lucky you got that stiff chin on you. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him the starry-eyed special. Here we go. Oh, never mind. He's got to be right in front of me for starry-eyed special. Uh, I want to do, I want to do, nope, not that. That would be nice right there, but it's not triggering. Ooh, with the knockout. Get down, Minotaur. Get back. And so that's a Minotaur knock the hell on out. 
Uh, this game is called Fight Night. If you wanted to play it for yourself, I'll put a link down below. You can get it on uh, IndieDB and also I think on ish.io right now if you're interested in the idea. I will also put a Kickstarter link down below. What the shit was that? Oh, it was like a booby trap. Oh, that's not good. Now I'm kind of lost. And there's tons of weird little spider monsters down here. I don't know how I feel about any of this. Hopefully they're just like the normal skeletons. Yeah, it looks like they are. It looks like they're just the defaults. But yeah, if you want to check the game out for yourself, I will have all the requisite link. Oh, he backhanded me. Again, dude, stop with the backhanded... These backhanded attacks, dude. Oh, he's quick. He moved on me. Yeah, I gotta have all the requisite links down below if you wanted to play the game for yourself. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping on in, everybody. It's fight night. Bye-bye.